Well, the weather's gross outside, so because I'm stuck walking in it, I figured I would actually make a weather video comparing 2022-2023 weather months. And when we run out of space for 2023 because it hasn't finished yet, we'll just switch over to 2021. Starting off with January, 2022 versus 2023, major differences. January 2022, in terms of warmth, beat January 2023 in one way, in the sense that one day had a low temperature in the 50s, January 1st, when the low was 50 degrees. January 2023 could only muster a low of 49 degrees. However, that happened three times, one of which tied a record specifically on January 2nd. The highest temperature in January 2023 was also much higher, so it hit 66 as opposed to 59. Keep in mind that all these measurements are based on um, New York City weather data um, and is not specifically reflect my suburb because apparently no one cares about what happens in my suburb. As I would rather make a video that details that. But honestly, New York City can get more interesting. Um, Looking at precipitation, the two months were actually about equal. Both had over four inches of rain. But yet, I'm saying about January 2022 is that there was over 15 inches of snow that fell in New York City throughout the month. Whereas in January 2023, there was only a trace of snow that fell. Look at the lowest temperature too. January 2022 was about average with the temperatures bottoming down to 10 degrees. Whereas in January 2023, the coldest that it got all month was 28 degrees, which was a new record. The coldest high in January 2023 was 38 degrees, so not one day saw a sub-freezing high. Meanwhile, in January 2022, highs got as low as 20 degrees, and in a separate event, there was a six-day long cold wave, which is six consecutive days with a high below freezing. Overall, in terms of temperatures, January 2023 was the warmest on record with an average temperature of 43 and a half degrees compared to January 2022, which was quite a bit below average with an average temperature of about 30, um, well, that's what I think of like 30.7 degrees. February 2023, both months actually had comparable amounts of snowfall, 2.0 inches in 2022 uh, 2.2 .2 in 2023, just in 2023, that was actually the vast majority of our snow and a very sad winter. Ja uh, February 2022 was known for its intense diurnal variations. February 2023, not as much. So February 2023 still became the third warmest on record. Had a very good shot of becoming the warmest on record, but it got, it, it got cold in the final week, and that's why it was held down to the number three spot. Still, the average temperature during February was like 41.1 degrees, which is still um, very warm, much above average for the month of February. Uh, February 2022, the average temperature was around uh, somewhere in the 36 to 37 degree territory. I think, I think the average temperature in, Jan in February 2022 was um, around 30, was just about 37 degrees. Precipitation was also, um, I don't think that there was like a bad average precipitation in February 2022, but I still think that the month saw three inches of rain, which isn't actually that much below average. Um, February 2022 was much below average in terms of precipitation with only an inch and a quarter of rain. Looking uh, further at it, February 2022 um, had an, the highest temperature of the month hit 68 degrees. And in February 2023, it was 70 degrees, which are about similar and also much above what it should be for the highest temperature in February. However, looking at low temperatures, the warmest low that was achieved during the month of February 2022 in New York City was 42 degrees. Oh, actually, wait, no, I lied. The, that was, uh, I'm getting confused with my suburb because we were much cooler on this day, but there was actually a day. It hit 68 twice in February, 
2022. And there was a day in February 2022 with a low of 49 degrees. And when it happened on that day, it was a record. The other 68 degree high was not a record. And the low that they plunged down to the mid 30s. Um, so that was unfortunate. But yeah, February 2023 uh, actually had the second warmest low in the entire month of February when it clocked in at 50 as a 56 degree low temperature. The morning low is 58, which would have tied the monthly record. However, there were some showers that cooled it down, but only at 56. So that was when February began to get like really, really crazy. February, um, in both months, were, were weird. February 2022, the temperature in that February dropped down to its coldest point, which was um, actually not too low at all. I think, um, I, I think it was 17 degrees in the middle of the month. Whereas in February 2023, there was an Arctic blast that actually shot temperatures down to three degrees. That being said, February 2023 only had one sub-freezing high, and there were multiple in February 2022, but no cold waves. March. Both months are minimal snow, 0.4 inches in 2022, 0.1 in 2023. Um, they were both above average in terms of temperatures. Um, March 2023 had an average temperature, I think, of 44.6 degrees, and it was um, about 45.3 in March 2022, so both were about similar. However, in terms of the extremes, March 2022's gap was much greater. It hit 74 degrees twice in a month, one of which was a record, with the low of one on one of these days, um, on both these days being 50. In March of 23, the high only hit 63, and so these days, I mean, like the warmest low that you got, were still somewhere in the mid 40s territory. Just not exactly sure of the exact number, but it was somewhere in the mid 40s. Um, March 2022 dropped below the freezing mark a lot more, but you al it also had more plentiful supply of warm days. In March 2022, there was actually a day at the end of the month with a high of only 33 degrees, which broke a daily record. However, the low temperature of the month was not achieved on that day, and I think instead was 21 degrees as a low temperature. In March 2023, the coldest that it got all month was, um, was 29 degrees, and the coldest high that we saw throughout the month was a 40 degree high temperature. So as you can see, a lot narrower of a spread. Also, in terms of precipitation, um, both months were somewhat below average, and I think both had about three inches of rain to their name as well. Although March 2023 was over three inches, or I think March 2022 was in the it was closer to two and a half inches of rain. April, okay, April 2022 was a bit of a wet month with about four and a half inches of rain, but April 2023, because of floods at the end of the month, was exceedingly wet with nearly eight inches of rain, the seventh wettest April on record. In terms of temperatures, they're also not even close. The average temperature in um, in April of 2022 was, uh, well, April 2023, the average temperature throughout the month was about 56 degrees, maybe even, I think 56.6 degrees. Whereas in April 2023, the average temperature, well, that fell right around the average, so about 53 degrees for an average temperature. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure on these numbers for 2022, but I do know what the general idea was. April 2022 only hit 79 degrees for its warmest point in a month 
Whereas April 2023 exceeded 80 degrees at four separate times on four separate days, with its highest temperature being a record high 91 degrees on the 14th of April. Looking at lows, that day had, a, had the earliest low of 70 plus on record, so there was a 70 degree low temperature in April. Looking at 2022, the warmest low was around 54 degrees, somewhere in that zone. And looking at the coldest temperature, both were actually similar with it being 38 in 22 and 37 in 2023. But, you know, in terms of high temperatures, I think both were actually also similar. But in April 20, and they both happened to be at my championship, but in 2022, it happened to be 48 degrees. Whereas in 2023, the coldest high was 51 degrees. So we actually saw our last day with a high in the 40s um, occurring in March. So, that was that. May of 2023, I think that had an average temperature throughout the month. It was 0.8 above normal. So, I think that um, we saw the average temperature in that month get to, I don't know, 66 or 67 degrees. May of 2023 was a bit below average, so um, by 0.5. So, again, probably 65 or 66. Not to have the exact numbers, but May 2022 is 1.3 degrees above warm on average. Why? May of 2023, May of 2023 is a very dry month with, a, with, a, with again, only an inch and a quarter of rain. May of 2022 was a very wet month. Well, not very wet month, but it still had four and a half inches of rain. In May 2022, the coldest high was 50 degrees and the coldest low was 45. In May of 2023, the coldest high was 55, but there was a day with a low of 43 in the middle of the month during an Arctic outbreak that sent temperatures down to the 30s in parts of Long Island. Tying records. Um, May of 2023 only hit 85 degrees, whereas May of 2022 was able to soar up to 93 which is actually the warmest temperature in May in over two decades, although not a daily record. There will be no daily records for high temperatures, but the warmest low of May 2023 at 72 degrees did tie a record, and that was on the 22nd. Meanwhile, in May 2022, the warmest low temperature was only 66 degrees. So, that was... That month, there were only three days with a high above 80, so we had more 80 plus days in April than in May. That's weird. Um, definitely that was not the case in May of 2022. There were many days towards the end of the month that hit, um, that wound up hitting 80 degrees. And you know, looking at May of 2023, what, what, what really dragged the month below average was actually more so the low temperatures than the um, high temperatures because of the low humidity that we saw during the month and lots of sunshine. It actually made May one of New York City's most beautiful weather months in history. June was also somewhat beautiful, but it had moments. The highest temperature achieved all June was 91 degrees. But at my local climate site, we actually only hit 81, even though where I was at 86. And now it's because of a strong sea breeze. So for some parts of the metro area, like my weather station, the warmest day of the month was actually the last day when it hit 83. But in the city, it was 91 degrees on the second day. And on the fourth day, it plunged down to 49, the coldest June temperature in 23 years. June would be two degrees below average and have an average temperature that was about 69 degrees, maybe 70 degrees, because of a 13-day stretch from the 12th to 24th where temperatures ran below average every single day, as well as the cold in the beginning of the month. Having said that, the last day of the low in the 50s was earlier than normal this year, falling on the 10th of June. And the second longest gap of lows in the, uh, between lows in the 50s would occur on record, because th there would not be another low in the 50s until the 15th of September, which was the fourth latest date for that occurrence, even though in 2022 it actually happened later on the 16th of September. 
despite, you know, our chilly August, which we'll get to. So, June 2023 also had that horrible air quality that June 2022 didn't have. In terms of precipitation, there's only a little over an inch and a half of rain in June 2023, despite it being so, um, so chilly. Whereas in June of 2022, New York City wound up seeing um, about two and a half inches of rain. The thing about June of 2022... Uh, or June 2023, rather, was that New York City was a dead spot for rain, and even my sucky rain guards actually managed to pick up nearly an inch more rain, and that's just because of where the storms were centered, and they all kind of took away you away from New York City. They were all in the isolated, scattered, severe storm territory. Not good when you're trying to build up your precipitation numbers. I'll just tell you that much. The warmest temperature, uh, the warmest low in June was 71 degrees, um, in 2023, in 2022, the warmest low in June was also in the 70s, but I forget what. June 2022, I think it was, yeah, it was 74 degrees. And the warmest temperature in June, that did manage to get up to 90 degrees. June 2022 was actually a bit below average too, by 0.6 degrees, but that would still be enough to land it to an average temperature of about 71 and a half degrees, I think. Maybe it was closer to 71 July, both Julys were very similar. July 2022 became just the second July on record to have a high of over 80 degrees on every single day. And July 2023 nearly repeated this feat, minus the fact that it had a high of 78 degrees on the 16th of the month. In terms of low temperatures, very, the lowest temperature throughout the month, very similar. And both were very close to the record, 65 in 2022 and 66 in 2023. I actually thought that 2023 would be able to see the warmest, coolest reading of all of July. However, uh, severe thunderstorms along the cold front on the 29th were able to shoot that down. There were no heat waves in July of 2023, unlike a six-day heat wave in July of 2022. Uh, the warmest temperature in July of 2022 hit 95, whereas 93 in 2023 was our warmest uh, reading. Um, looking at lows, there was no, no low above 77, weirdly enough, in July 2023. And um, in July of 2022, there was a low of 79 degrees. Yeah, the, 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 the temperature spread in July 2023, one of the lowest on records because it saw one of our um, warmest minimum readings for the entire month, yet then failed to make that jump up. Um, when we did see the low of 77, the high was kept below 80. There were actually only five days with highs in the 90s this month, unlike the 10 that we saw in July of 2022. July 2022 actually managed to see four and a half inches of rain, even though most of the area suffered drought because most of the rain was centered around New York City. But July 2023 managed to outdo that with nearly five and a half inches of rain. Average temperature... This I know for both of them, 79.0 in 23, 79.5 in 22, which kept July 2023 just out of the top 20. Um, um, I think we, we, we wound up getting at like something like 21. Whereas 2022, we were the 13th warmest July. Okay, so August. August was vastly different. It was... In 2022, it was 3.2 degrees above normal and fell at 79.3. So using some simple math, with it being about 1.0 below average in 2023, we can get to just, I think it was 75.4 degrees with the temperature average actually clocked out to be. 75.4 degrees. In August 2022, the lowest temperature of the month actually did dip down to 62, where it was kept to 63 in August of 2023. But in terms of the highest temperature, 97 and 22, and in 23, it only hit 88. The first August in over 30 years to actually not see a high in the 90s. Looking at precipitation, less than 2 inches in 2022, over 6.5 inches in 2023, but that was merely because of early morning deluges of, um, of rainfall. 
August, just simply put it this way, was not a warm month. Um, where we did not see A's in the 80s, whereas August of 2022 had a four-day heat wave and was very close to extending that heat wave to eight days and seeing another heat wave at the end of the month. The heat in August really just never let up. And in, in August 2023, most of the month seemed like a bit of a fall preview in a way. And that's flooding. Oh, and a range of 25 degrees in August 2023. Yep, that was the narrowest range on record. September. So September 2022 and 2023 are going to be hard to compare because September 2023 is not over yet with, and we see all this rain. But I can already say with September 2022 having just over four inches of rain and this month currently being at 6.3 in a city and counting, September 2023 is going to win out. Temperatures is hard to say. Um, September 2022... Uh, Finish, I think just at the average with an average temperature of, um, I don't know what the average temperature in September is, but it was pretty much right at that average. So someone in 69 to 70 degree territory, I'm pretty sure. We were, we had our seventh warmest first half on record, but it's been all below ever since then. And our temperature is currently holding out at 72. With this cold week in the forecast for New York City, I could see us falling down to near average. The warmest temperature this September was 93. Last year was 90 low. It was 73 last year. This year, our warmest low is shaping up to be, um, it's going to be 77, um, which did not set a record. We had uh, our first four-day heat wave in September in 50 years, though. A four-day heat wave in September is very rare. Not even 2015 could see that. Um... Whereas in September 2022, there was only one day that had a high in the 90s. And it was most certainly not fun to deal with that early September heat wave. It was considering that it then didn't break for a while, which led to high humidity and temperatures still mostly parked in the mid-80s. But they felt like the upper 80s because the cold uh, because the heat wave just simply would not break well it broke but not in the normal way my location actually had a five the heat wave and, it, and the last day was kept down to 84 so the city really could have had um and i think no forecast to have like a five the heat wave, but they really could have had a six day heat wave if um if it just got a little bit warmer that's also what kept the late july heat wave from actually becoming a heat wave September um, 2022 wound up dropping down to 49 degrees, and I do not see that happening this month, but the coldest high in September 2022 was 63 degrees, and we've already seen yesterday have a high of 63, and a day could drop cooler, although I kind of doubt it with tropical air being moved northward as a result of this annoying tropical storm. Compared to 2022 to 2021, that month saw over 10 inches of rain fall throughout the whole month. It only hit 85, but the lowest temperature all month only dropped to 54. Um, the coolest high that month was about 66. And in terms of the um, low temperature, or not, in terms of the um, in terms of the um, damn it, what's it called? In terms of the warmest low in 2022, I think that was somewhere in the low 70s as well. September 2022 did have a very narrow, um, September 2021 had a very narrow range for, in September. So did October, one of our warmest on record. So September 2022 was actually 1.1 above normal. October had an average temperature of, um, of like 63 degrees. October 2022, the average temp was much was about five degrees lower, so around 58. Big difference. October 2021 saw about, and October 2022 both also saw five, about five inches of rain. October 2022, the coldest that got was 42, above normal. But in October 2021, it broke a record by only getting down to 47. And the coolest high of 56, well, we saw a high of 53 in October 2020. 
Warmest low, 61 in 2022, 63 in tw- 61 in 2022, 63 in 2021. But there was also a much longer streak of lows in the 60s. In terms of um, highs, we hit 79 la- uh, two Octobers ago. Last October, we only hit 76. But in terms of November, nowhere even close. September 2022, this time was five degrees warmer than September 2021, or November 2022. Despite a cooler lower, despite so the lowest temperature I th- was 27 in 2021 and 30 in 2022. Oh no, well, I got to mix up. 27 in 2022, 30 in 2021. And in terms of the ho- coldest high, 39 in 2021, 40 in 2022. It's just that when you look at the highest temperature, it only hit 69 in November of 2021, which, while the warmest temperature solely in the year since 2015, meant that it, for the first time since 2014, November did not see a high temperature in the 70s. This year, well, last November, New York, uh, parts of the metro area topped out above 80, but New York City was constrained to 77 degrees. The, lo- the, the low the day before of 66, second warmest for all of November. Whereas in November of 2021, the warmest low temperature was only in the low 50s. That was really the biggest thing. It was our, it was our abnormally warm temperatures to kick off the month of November that was what really paved the way for a warm month. Both months were also dry, but it was much drier in November 2022 when the rainfall total was just over an inch. In November 2022, there was over three inches of rain, but that was still below average. Looking at December, December 2021 had an average temperature of 43.7 and it was 38.6 in 2022. So this time 2022 is the one that's five degrees below average. If you haven't, you know, there's some, well, it's hard to compare because you didn't go through all of 2021. But 2021 was a, a much warmer the year than 2022, in case you haven't noticed. December was actually our third warmest on record with a, a record high of 66 degrees on one of the day and a record warm low of 54 degrees on another day. In 2022, there was that 54 degree low, though not a record, and more days with lows in the 50s, and almost as many days with highs above 55 as compared to 2022. And so you have to look at the lowest points of the month. There was no high cooler than like 37 or 38 in December 2021, whereas in 2022, there was a high that, that got shot down to 15 degrees. The low that day was seven, much colder than December 2022's warmest low of, um, what was it? 25 and December 2022 only managed to hit a high of 62 degrees uh, at the end of the month. December 2022 saw a cold wave. So, yes, the winter of 2022 23, despite being one of the warmest on record and being known for being abnormally warm, did see a cold wave, but there was no snow. There was 0.2 inches of snow in December 2021. Precip in 2021 was also much less. It was just under an inch and a half, and it was nearly six inches of rain that poured down throughout December of 2023. Uh, December 2022, I mean, not 2023. December 2022 was also where we had our longest stretch of highs kept below 50. It was actually a, um, like a 12-day stretch. So that stretch being somewhat below normal is, plus the cold wave at the end of the month, is really um, well was able to do it. Also, the December 23rd saw New York City's biggest 24-hour temperature drop on record from 58 degrees down to 8 degrees. Huh. Pretty much put it this way, um, it was a bit like interesting to see how these months compare to each other and I'm kind of curious to see where September 2023 actually wind up with its temperature decline.